Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. This is gonna be sick. So I got this message on Instagram from uh, Mr. Hurry over here. I'll put it up on screen. Make sure to go follow him on Instagram. He specifically asked for Sasuke and Naruto locked in battle. So that's what I ran with. To start this die, he went ahead and ordered a white splice, a Discmania splice. So that came in a few days later. And what I did was I used some acetone to wipe the stamp off. The stamp didn't come off cleanly all the way. Uh, but that wasn't too much of an issue because I decided, hey, you know, this isn't a big deal. I'm going to die over top of it. So it really wasn't a too much, too much of an issue. It still had a little pink in there, but it was fine. So after that, what I did was I took some clear glue and I poured it into the tub because I wanted to create a base layer of orange and purple, but I decided with the way I wanted to do this disc that I was gonna go with blue and yellow because orange and purple were gonna be another layer that I will talk about here shortly. So I got some Pro Chem dye, yellow, in a little glass dropper and some, uh, I think it was Rit Dye More Synthetic in a glass dropper. And I dropped those on either side of the glue. So you had blue on one side, yellow on the other, and swirled those a little bit. Uh, and then I put the disc in there, let it sit overnight, and pulled it out the next day to um, less than stellar results, to be honest. Um, I was a little disappointed in how it comes out. Uh, but, you know, like, it is what it is. It, it, you're not going to see a whole lot of the swirl because the rest of the disc is going to be so sick. He mentioned that he wanted this disc to be a silhouette of Sasuke and Naruto. Well, I wanted to take it a step further. So what I wanted to do was make half the disc yellow, half the disc blue. And then over top of that, have a shaded silhouette of Sasuke's final armored uh, Susanoo and Naruto's Nine Tails Chakra locked in battle. So that's what I did. I, I kind of used this reference picture right here. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, that's kind of what I use to create this next silhouette. Got on the cricket. You know, uh, I, I created a silhouette on screen. I'll probably be showing footage right now. Create a silhouette on screen, printed it out using the Cricut on contact paper. Uh, I was able to pull it off the contact paper, lay it on the counter, put the disc on it, golden. Uh, so now, after that, what I did was I mixed some purple Rit Dye More Synthetic with shaving cream using like a little Q-tip in a cup, and I mixed some orange Rit Dye More Synthetic with shaving cream in another cup, mixed that up with a Q-tip as well. And then over the stencil, after the stencil is on the disc, I just painted in both characters. So I wasn't too worried about the swirls of these outlines because the swirls will pop out from underneath, but at the end of it, I let that sit for 24 hours, I pulled the contact paper off the next day, rinsed the disc off, and you have two silhouettes of Sasuke's armored Susanoo, Naruto's Ninetales Chakra, locked in battle. Cool. Second layer, done and dusted. So we're through with all the colors now at this point. So the next step was I grabbed a silhouette of Sasuke and a silhouette of Naruto and I put them together in one file and once again went to the Cricut, used the Cricut to cut out the silhouettes, uh, took my time putting them onto the disc to make sure everything was straight. Uh, I cut some of the contact paper to give them kind of a ground level, you know, so they're not just floating in midair. Uh, I also like to cut out a little frame 
around the edge of the disc. When you cut out a frame, you add a little character to it. It's like you're framing the scene, which is really cool. Uh, also, it allows you to really flatten out that contact paper really nice. So you don't end up with lines and uh, dye leaking under little folds in the contact paper and you just get crisper lines. So that's why I do that. So after that, I grabbed a little tray again. It already had some dye in it. It had like purple and blue in it. Wasn't worried about it. I took some eye dye poly, some black eye dye poly, threw that in the tray. Uh, I also had some graphite Rit dye more synthetic color, threw some of that in the tray and then filled it most of the way with just hot water. I then went back to the disc, made sure all the contact paper was flat, smoothed out. There were no air bubbles by the edges. Very important, don't leave air bubbles by the edges because dye will get under that and you'll get bleeding, not what you want. I took the disc, put it in the dye, let it sit for a little over 24 hours. And uh, this morning I pulled it out, dried it off so I could walk it inside, rinsed it off, pulled off the contact paper, dried it off, and this came out so incredibly sick. I, this is one of my favorite ones. Like if, if he didn't, if he wasn't paying me for this, I'd be like, no, you know what, this one's mine. If he didn't order this disc, I would have been like, hey, I'll do you a different one. Um, I love the combination. You have Sasuke, you have Naruto, you have the Nine-Tailed Chakra, you got the uh, Armored Susanoo. It's just so sick. And you got like the swirlies in the background that look like battle explosions. This is probably one of my favorite dyes. Super stoked with it, and I hope he is too. So. With that being said, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video, getting a little sneak peek behind what goes into making one of these. This kind of process takes a, a little bit longer than most people would think. It's not a simple die. And, uh, you know, I just hope you got something useful out of the video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And just come back for more content because I've got plenty more content coming in just locked and loaded in the chambers ready to go baby with that all being said y'all get out there and and try this just go do it there are going to be discs that you mess up but go do it and as always don't forget to throw up